Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and it's here the Super Conqueror, the British Tier 10 collectible and it's a heavy. How do you get it? Well, it's in crates. Oh dearie me and they're not cheap. Okay, you're guaranteed the tank if you get 30 charms but if you look here, you get 14 charms for basically $100. So this tank's going to cost you about $200 to guarantee it. That ain't cheap. Does it look funky? Yes, it does. When you get the tank, it doesn't come with any equipment unlocked. You have to unlock it. It doesn't come with this camo. That's going to cost you more gold to get it. It's funky camo, but hey, it's expensive. But is it even worth you looking at? Well, let's have a look at it. Damage not great rate of fire not great penetrations okay armor we'll get to that speed is okay and rotation how quickly it turns around not too bad looking at the more detailed stats 2438 hit points it's got most of its armor on the front of the turret you can see there although the hull has got a little bit view range not too bad camouflage and concealment not great it is a heavy after all dpm 2617 reload time just over nine seconds you can see there the penetration values 272 342 and 121 on its ammunition with i end alpha 400 on your standard and 515 if you're lucky on the he aim time just shy of four seconds gun depression 10 degrees which is nice and 15 degrees upwards speed well it's a heavy so it ain't exactly the fastest but you'll get about 30 out of it i load it with this equipment because it doesn't come with any special consumables which is a shame nor does it come with any special provisions Ammunition wise you can see it's APCR, there's no heat and there's no hash, which is disappointing to say the least. Now that's my general loadout. When it comes to equipment, I generally load it with that. Why? Because I just find it easier. But what about that armour? Well, this is what it looks like in um, armour inspector. Now you can see sides and back pretty thin, but the front turret is pretty solid when i stick it against an is4 as you can see there you will be able to side scrape in it and it's really a haul down tank stick in the heat for the is4 and you can see there's areas that can be penned but it is pretty tricky this is the thing i wanted to show you most though tank compare comparing it to the tier 9 conqueror and as you can see there ain't much difference. In fact, the tier 9 Conqueror, which is a tech tree tank, is pretty much the same tank. The biggest difference being the gun depression. Because in the Conqueror at tier 9, it's a lot less. It's not 10 degrees. But do you really need it? I mean, we're talking about a tier 10 heavy here. That isn't exactly cheap. I mean, $200 for a tank, guys. It's pretty damned expensive. But what else can i say about it i mean to be fair the way i look at it you're really getting a tier nine in sheep's clothing so what's it like to play well it's like the tier nine okay so it's got slightly better armor and it's got three degrees of extra gun depression does that justify you spending realistically 200 dollars for what is effectively a tier nine tech tree tank well i mean that's a really big question and to be honest with you i wouldn't i would say don't bother it, it's giving you nothing more real terms than what you get as a tech tree tank at tier 9 i mean if you don't like the conqueror at tier 9 you're not gonna like the super conqueror an expensive collector at tier 10 and it, there's been a lot of hype surrounding this tank. I mean, loads of people have been waiting for it. And you know what? It's a little bit disappointing. I say little bit with a big sense of irony. It's extremely disappointing. Because I'd expect it to have a better gun than the Tier 9 counterpart. And it doesn't. It has the same gun. The biggest difference, as I said, is the armor. Now... It, tier 9, the, super, the, the Conqueror at Tier 9 has incredibly good armor as well on, on the turret. It's a good haul down heavy tank. This is a Tier 10. What is setting it apart? 
other than three degrees of gun depression, a little bit more HP, and a, a little bit better DPM. Other than that, not much, to be honest with you. I, you're not really getting value for money with this tank, guys. And it's not the super duper fantastic tank that everybody's been anticipating. Because let's be honest, people have been thinking that this thing is going to come out and it's going to be OP. And it's going to set the world on fire with a massive meta change. It ain't. Let's be honest. I mean, it's a tier 9 with a little bit of armor. Nothing more than that. It's that straightforward. And, you know... If I were you, I wouldn't be spending any money on dropping crates to get this thing. I certainly wouldn't be spending $200 to get, effectively, a Tier 9 tank. I wouldn't do it. And I would strongly recommend that you don't do it. It's a nice tank, don't get me wrong. This, in my opinion, should have been a tech tree tank. It should never have been a crate tank. And it should never have been hyped as much as it was. It's a very nice tank. But then again, so is the Conqueror at tier 9. And if you stick it in the right place, like, if you know, you stick it all down, it's got a nice gun. And it does have the ability to bounce. Because it does have strong armour on its turret. But I'm still coming back to, what are you getting? What's your bang for your buck? And there isn't any, let's be honest. This is a damp squid. It's as simple as that. It is not spectacular. It is not OP. It is not broken. In fact, it's just meh. It is really, like I keep saying, it's a tier 9 in sheep's clothing. That's all it is. You know, they've stuck a bit of side armor on the top of it they've lowered it they've increased its dpm increased its hp to fit it in with tier 10 gave it some funky camo and a hefty price tag and you're going to see a few of them out there and people are going to be disappointed you know what the super conk is fighting here against that um 215b and you know i would say the 215B is a much, much better tank at this tier than this thing. I mean, if you want a good tier 10 British heavy, forget this. Get the 215B because that will that that's a much better tank and it's going to be better. Okay, this thing has a half decent credit coefficient. It's not a premium tank, however. It's a collector so don't expect too much from it but it's well let's just say it's a disappointment anyway that has been the super conk it's now in the store if you want to splash a lot of cash on getting the crates because it is going to set you back a pretty penny unless you're lucky of course and you get it in like the first couple of crates would i recommend that you splash your cash on this no i would not did i have fun rolling out of it I would say I had about as much fun as rolling out in the Tier 9 Conqueror or the Tier 10 215B. It did not rock my world, let's put it that way. Anyway, by all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a beautiful thing to do. Puts a smile on my face, makes me happy, and costs you nothing. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. As always, I'd like to thank my subscribers for allowing me to get to the position that I'm now in because without you it'd be pointless doing videos and to my Patreons who without you doing videos would be a lot harder and until the next time guys really weigh this one up save your cash if I were you anyway have stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy